friend, it's Miss Kathy. I'm back with another craft. Today's craft is a special projects craft. This is going to be in a bag that you'll need to pick up at the library. It'll use some of the components from our general craft pack or other things that you have around your house, but you can pick up a bag at the library with all of the contents that we have in the pack. If you're not able to come to the library, we'll include a link in part of our description or at the end of the video that'll have everything that we used in today's craft. So today's craft, we're making some robots. We're using aluminum foil, some googly eyes, and we're going to create different kinds of robots. The things you'll need for today uh, include things such as a box. I found that a butter box or a rice box or one that perhaps macaroni and cheese came in, that would be about the size of the box that you'd want. You can also go smaller with something like a toothpaste box or even smaller, such as this little box. Then you're going to need a couple of other things. In the pack, we're going to include some gray paper, a uh, sheet of aluminum foil. We're also going to include a couple of beads that you can use on your robot. We'll have some more googly eyes uh, as part of our standard pack. We're also going to include some of the pieces of scratch paper that you can use to create some buttons or use for other parts on your robot. You'll also get some pipe cleaners and a couple of foamy shapes that you can cut up to use as part of the decoration. Some of the things that you'll need at home include a pair of scissors to cut and some uh, glue stick or a glit, glue, liquid glue, whichever you have around the house. And if you have anything like a plastic lid or maybe some buttons to decorate your robot. Okay, we'll get all of those things together and then we'll get started. Okay, have you gathered your supplies? If you're using a toilet paper roll or a box, you'll need to figure out which one you're going to use and which paper you're going to use. If you're using the aluminum foil or the paper, you're gonna to wanna to measure it so that it sort of fits around the item that you're using. So this toilet paper roll, and this is very loud and noisy. I'll roll it around and then I'm gonna crimp hold it in place by crimping the edge on the inside of the roll. And that will create a nice finish for your robot. From here, you can decide how you're going to decorate your robot. Some of the pipe cleaners you'll receive have been cut, but some of them are going to be long. So you can use your pipe cleaner and wrap it around your robot like this. You can either twist the arms so that they stay if you want to keep them further up, just push it all the way up. And there, they kind of look like antennas. All right, so the next thing you want to do is figure out where you want to put your beads. I find that the beads need a lot of glue. And the best way to get them to stick on your robot is to take your glue or your glue stick and generously apply the glue to your robot. And then you're gonna take your beads and apply them to the robot in whatever pattern you'd like. 
it takes a while for the beads to really stick well. So you may need to hold onto them onto the container a little bit longer. For some reason, I find that the foil tends to make it trickier for the stuff to stick. If you're finding that you want to use your pipe cleaners and they're sliding down or you want to attach them on either side, you can use the paper that we've included, the uh, black, orange, or blue, and you can sort of create a hinge where you attach the paper over top of the end of the pipe cleaner and thereby glue the paper on so that the pipe cleaner would stick. We've also included some googly eyes and the googly eyes that you'll get have a sticky back. Uh, it can be a little tricky to pull the sticky back off, but once you do, you can figure out if your robot has one or more eyes. I'm gonna attach one right there, just for the fun of it. And then I'm also going to take the foamy faces that we've given you and cut a shape and you can then cut the shape, apply some glue and affix that to your robot as well. Aside from the metallic pipe cleaners, we've also included some fancy pom-poms. These acrylic pom-poms can be used in a number of different ways. On this particular robot, I've made a bit of a platform so they sort of look like wheels. On this robot, I've attached them to the top so it looks sort of like a button. You can put them wherever you'd like on your robot, doesn't really matter. The other thing that I've done is I've pulled out a couple of lids from some of my juice containers. If you're drinking juice or milk, you might have the little plastic bottle tops that you can use. So I thought they sort of looked like buttons that you could twist or dials. So I've glued one to the front on this particular robot, then I've glued another one to the top. If you have other things like the tops from say soda containers or buttons perhaps that you, your mother or your grandmother might have laying around the home, you can also try gluing some of those on. I will comment that because it's the foil, if you're using the foil, you may wanna apply a lot of glue, put them on with a certain amount of pressure and give them a while to dry before you start moving your robots around. So essentially, that's how we make our robots. The rest of the craft packs will be announced on Facebook as we announced this one. Uh, Miss Andrea and Mr. Alex will be doing some more of these in the coming weeks. If you haven't stopped at the library to pick up your general craft pack, which would include the scissors and the glue, or stop to register and, or call to register to sign up for any of our other crafts that we'll be offering this summer, please do so. Some of the crafts such as this one have limited supplies. So it's important that you call and register if you're interested in making this. If you can't get to the library, or you don't happen to live around us, you can always purchase some of these things at places like Michael's, Walmart, even the Dollar Store. I found that Dollar Tree and Dollar General usually have a decent selection in their craft supply. So, today is the robot. I look forward to seeing you again, friends, and until then, I hope you stay safe. Call the library to make reservations for our future crafts and have a good day. Bye.